What's up everybody, it's Sean here and I'm back today to give you guys a review of the Nike Dunk Low in the white and black colorway. This is one of those staple Dunk colorways that have been releasing throughout 2021 and from what I heard they're going to be restocking periodically throughout the year. So this pair retails for a price of 100 US dollars or $135 here in Canada and the official colorway for this shoe is simply just white and black. So last year in 2020 was the first year that Nike really decided to push and promote the Nike Dunk silhouette once again. And they released a handful of Nike Dunk Low colorways including the Syracuse colorway, the Kentuckys, and the Brazils. Fast forward one year later to 2021 and Nike has pretty much flooded the market with new colorways of the Dunk Low. And I'm pretty sure this is my first non-SB and non-sort of limited colorway of the Dunk Low if we're not counting things like the City Market colorway and the Curry Dunk Lows. So diving into the details of this shoe, so the entire upper is constructed out of leather. On the toe box, we have this perforated white colored leather, and then surrounding the outer edge, we have this black leather. I did want to point out though, that the shape of the toe box is really nice, really sloped and slanted, and has this very tapered look to it. This black leather covers the eyelets of the shoe, and then beneath this on a quarter panel, we have more of that white leather. Overlaid on top, for the Nike swoosh, this is constructed out of black leather, and this black leather wraps around the back heel of the sneaker. At the very top, we have another hit of black leather, and this time we have the Nike wordmark embroidered in white. For the laces, so they only come with one pair of laces, and they're a flat style black colored lace. Underneath this, we have your white colored nylon tongue, and it's surrounded by this black colored nylon on the outer edges. At the very top, we have this tag, which has Nike branding in black and white. For the insoles, so these come with your standard Nike foam insole, it's done in this white color, and we have Nike stamped on the heel in black. So the upper of these Dunk Lows sits atop this solid white colored rubber midsole. And then turning the shoe over to the bottom, here we have your classic Dunk outsole, which in this case is constructed out of a black colored rubber. We have the circular or radial style traction pattern on the forefoot, along with the Nike logo right in the center. So for those wondering how these fit, these fit pretty much like all my other Nike Dunks. So for Nike sportswear Dunks, I recommend sticking true to size. So I'm a true size 10, my feet are slightly on the wider side, and had zero issues fitting true to size with this model. In terms of the comfort, so these feel like all my other Dunk Lows, so there's pretty much zero tech within the sneaker, and the majority of the comfort is coming from the insole. With that said though, just for an everyday casual use shoe that I'm going to be beating around, these feel perfectly fine, they're not going to be exceptionally soft and cushioned, but it's pretty much in line with the majority of your retro silhouettes from the 80s that have pretty much zero tech within it. Finally, in terms of the overall quality and craftsmanship on this pair, first off, the material quality was pretty poor. So when I compare this one to the 2020 versions like the University Red and White, the Brazils, the Kentuckys and Syracuse, the quality of the leather on those pairs absolutely destroys the quality on this one. So for those pairs, you can really feel like it's a genuine real leather. Whereas for this one, especially the white leather, it really feels hard and really plasticky. So it has this really strong synthetic feel to it. The black leather was a little bit better. It was a bit more soft compared to the white leather, but honestly, this white leather was atrocious. And from an overall craftsmanship standpoint, I'd say that it was okay. It definitely wasn't perfect, I had some issues with my pair, but for a mass-produced GR Dunk colorway, it's pretty much in line with my expectations. With all that being said now, let's lace these up and I'll show you guys how these look on feet. For me, not just this colorway, but I'd say all the GR Dunk colorways I've released in 2021, I personally would not pay resale for them. I've seen, for example, the Syracuse Dunk Highs. The quality on those ones are equally as bad as this one. And I felt the same way about the Women's Coast colorway as well. So for me, these are definitely retail only. And I feel like this white leather is gonna crease pretty bad. So it's probably gonna be just a beater level sneaker. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this Nike Dunk Low and this white and black colorway. For those that have copped a pair of 2021 Dunks, let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about the overall quality. Look wise, this looks really nice. I love the tapered look of the toe. And again, the colorway is super wearable and versatile, but unfortunately Nike dropped the ball from a quality standpoint. 
If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Give me a follow on Instagram at esco8, check out my Twitter account at sean.go, and visit my website as well at seango.ca. So until next time, thank you so much for tuning in. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this review, and I'll catch you guys all in the next one.